super booty, butt burning hot. Just a little ooh, la la, you know, a little mm, chickity, mm, bop, boppity, bop, mm, bop, da na na, mm, cha cha. You feel me? What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes on the day another video. Last night I tweeted I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos y'all want me to talk about tomorrow? Hey guys, today is Monday, December 19th. It is officially Christmas holiday week. A lot of people are gonna probably be off as you know, the malls are gonna be packed. It's, it's kind of cold outside in most places. I haven't seen any snow or anywhere, but like, you know, it's seven days before Christmas, you know, family, you know, all that stuff is going on. You know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys know the drill, sit back, relax, put your feet up and yeah. Allow me to lay it on you. Guys, it happened. The World Cup is officially over. My boy Chef Beck, Argentina has won. Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> That's literally the only like football chant that I know. It's the ole. I, I, I didn't even realize. I thought that was like a universal soccer chant, but maybe that's like, like specific to a country. I, you know what? It probably is. Oh man, I hope it was Argentina. Anyway, unbelievable, joyous and emotional celebrations and Buenos Aires. Just look at what Argentina's World Cup win means. Now, I don't follow football or anything like that. I, I, I didn't even watch the game, but I know it was a big deal. And I know it was Argentina versus France. France was the reigning champions from last year. I think MVP when their team was this guy named, is it? Is it Mbappe? I, I, <laughs> some dude named Mbappe. And uh, it was him versus Messi. Messi is like this guy right here. He got MVP uh, of the year. Everyone's been saying that uh, he's been deserving of a World Cup for a very, very long time. Excellent player. And he's finally gotten it. And I think this is one of Argentina's like first wins for the World Cup in like the past 20 or 30 years. So big W to them. I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember the World Cup ever being like this big of a deal. I don't know if it's because it's like Twitter or social media or something like that but it it was hype i i, I wish i kind of like got into the whole vibe and the energy of it but like i'm just not like a sports junkie anymore i used to be I used to be a really big sports junkie back in the day and it was really toxic. And then every time my team would lose, I would be depressed for like a week. And I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop. Cause that's the fact that somebody is losing and is making me actually physically and mentally depressed for like a week. That's not, that's not healthy. So I detached and then, you know, and then I never came back, but happy for the fact that Argentina won. I'm happy if you're happy, I guess. And if you're sad and I heard that, uh, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> I heard XQC lost like $600,000 betting on France to win on, on the game. And uh, like all the people, you know, bet on it. Drake won like $2 million or whatever. That's just wild. Just losing $600,000 to a freaking bet. God dang. But those guys are millionaires rich off their nuts. So they don't care. Anyway, Argentina taking the World Cup 2022. Pretty cool news. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Guys, don't do this to me. Okay, this is, we got to talk about this, okay? this We really, pay attention to me, okay? Pay attention. This is, this is a big freaking deal, okay? Bracey, the VTuber said, Ash Ketchum is leaving the anime. If you guys don't know, as, uh, I think Friday, I believe, or maybe it was over the weekend, but the Pokemon team and them announced that Ash Ketchum and Pikachu are finally going to leave the franchise, okay? They're officially getting like an 11 episode series to seal the deal between my boys. And you can see like Gary and you can see like Misty and you can see Team Brockin and all of them, but they're gone. The final chapter in Ash Speaks You Story, 11 episodes starting Friday, January 13th, 2023 in Japan. Now, okay, let me explain a few things. I'm not gonna lie. I have not been keeping up with the Pokemon series, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I stopped a long time ago in the anime, okay? It's not that the anime is, I just, I just stopped. There was other anime. I, you know, I didn't even watch the full Pokemon, like the first one too. I just watched bits and pieces of when it came on WB or whatever. But like, you know, I, I'm not gonna admit that, you know, I didn't watch the anime, but the fact that it continued to exist in the background, you know, like Ash and Pikachu exist in the background was just kind of like me. Like you have those friends and they keep living. You're like, yeah, man, I see you. I see you doing your thing, man. I see you you're doing it, right? That's how I thought about Ash and Pikachu and to me, at least based on all the movies and everything I've seen and all the games and all the content and everything I really feel like Ash and Pikachu are like they are Pokemon you know what I mean like I know that Pokemon can exist without them but they're like the soul of it not being able to hear that Pika P would be like what what's gonna replace it who's gonna replace Ash who's gonna replace that voice who's gonna do the backwards cut who who? Well, it's apparently going to be two people, and it's going to be somebody who looks like it could be Ash's daughter. Uh, no More Ding said a new Pokemon anime is coming to replace the old, along with the new pair of protagonists to replace Ash. And uh, Sarah Bay had posted this that says this is going to be released on April 2023. It's a 17-short trailer. I'm going to try to play it and hope I don't get copyright strike. Oh, Myrtle. 
Oh, we need to read it. Spree got Tito. All right, so here is the main character for one of the main characters, main protagonist. She has a Spree got Tito. I do not know her name, but people believe that she might be Ash's daughter or maybe even her sister or something because uh, she has like some thingy on her thing that looks like Ash's hat. But uh, yeah. <laughs> The heck? Here it is. Here they are. Okay, wait. There we go. There we go. So, you got the little thingy, the little L. That's the same thing that's on Ash's ass. So, she's somehow either Ash's sister, Ash's daughter, or Ash's predecessor. You know, spec, you know. And her main character is going to be Sprigatito. Now, Sprigatito is really freaking cute. I'm not going to lie. Pikachu levels are cute? No. Mm-mm. Uh, ain't nothing getting levels of Pikachu levels. But, you know, and then they got your boy over there to the right. I don't know who that guy is as well. There's theories that he's connected to some people that have already exist as well because of his, like, hair color and his, like, eyebrows looking like Brock. But he's got the Fue Coco and the Quaxley in the background as well. So it looks like it might be a, a dual thing going on. So I'm... I'm not saying that it's not going to be good. I'm just kind of like, I thought, it, you know, Ash would be immortal. I thought that Ash became the best, you know, in the world, best like Nova was, that he was going to be the best in the universe. They were going to do the, the multiverses, right? And then he would have to fight Ashes from the different world. I just, I just felt like, you know, <laughs> I just felt like Ash was going to continue to exist forever. Like, like Mario or, or Sadness or Link, but... They're retiring my boy. If you come to like the replies to like the actual announcement from the actual official Pokemon, Sarah Nato Chenny said, it's been an extraordinary privilege to have been the English voice of Ash Ketchum for what will be 17 years. That's right. For those of you guys who didn't even know, Ash Ketchum is a girl, the voice actress at least. No matter what lies beyond this final chapter, he'll live forever in the hearts of many generations to come. Cheers to new beginnings. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I don't want it. I don't want no, no beginnings, okay? I just want, <laughs> I want Ash forever. This tweet basically sums up my feelings for the whole thing. I was prepared for trouble, but not for this. I don't, I, 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 okay, is I don't know if it's the whole, you know, Gen 1-er in me, okay? Gen 1-er, if you don't know, is like people who, who played Gen 1, they were, you know, they played the first Pokemon game. And they have nostalgia bias for it, okay? And so therefore, they favor it over every single generation for all times. Usually in the gaming verse, but it can happen in the anime verse, whatever. But I don't know if it's just me, but when it was like Ash and Pikachu, and it was Team Rocket and Giovanni, for some reason, like, that was what kept me into the anime. And then when it started spreading to, like, all these different versions of, like, Team Rocket and all these different bad guys, and then when, like, Misty and Ash started bouncing, and then all these, like, and Tracy started coming. No, no hate to Tracy, but for me, I don't know. It felt like the timeline was still focused on Ash and Pikachu, but I started becoming a little detached because we was missing out on the homies, man, but... Yeah, it is what it is. That's Pokemon, guys. Let me know how you guys feel about Pokemon and, and Ash and, and, and Pikachu retiring. Are you okay with it? You think they're going to do well? I just, I don't see anybody filling the void. But we have to open up the time. I, I, I realize Ash cannot be, you know, 15 years old forever, okay? Eventually... <laughs> <laughs> this man has to age, okay? The freaking potion or spell or curse that he's been under has to wear off and my man has to get older and settle down and stuff like that, okay? I For the longest time, I was hoping that the spoiler would be is that Ash is a Pokemon and that's why he didn't age. That's why he looks exactly the same. He became a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, that is freaking uh, Pokemon. Let me know how you guys feel about the news. All right, I'm like 0 for 3. When it comes from the Splatfest, okay? We got to listen, okay? I don't care if you don't like Splatoon. It doesn't matter. You don't have to like Splatoon or gaming or any of this, okay? We just got to talk about this because I I feel like I'm being set up, okay? Splatfest. If you guys don't know Splatoon, Alva64 says Splatfest coming in next month. Spicy versus sweet versus sour. Who are you picking, okay? So the Splatfest, again, you take three different factions and you match them against each other to see who is the best. And then you go and you play the game and the people choose their, their, their banners. And then whoever gets the best stuff wins, whatever, right? Well, instead of the next platoon, Beth is on the way. Spicy, sweet. Uh, the yummy event runs from January 6th to January 8th. That's next year. 2023 is literally right around the corner. I just realized I forgot. New Year's Eve. God dang, what is happening for... Oh my God, I'm so on Christmas. Anyway, what's your favorite taste sensation? And I said that I think the two top ones would be spicy and sour, right? Sour is really freaking really good, right? I love me some sour. Like, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I like sour. It makes your face go crazy and it hurts, but then it tastes good. Love me some sour. But I feel like universally spicy, spice, there have been nations that have gone to war 
for spice just so that they can have just a little bit of taste a little bit of heat add it a little bit of that add it to their foods you know what i'm saying it's the most powerful freaking thing in the world is spice and to say that if spicy does not win this i this I would be 0 for 4, I think, and I would never have won. Now, the other one is that people are talking about is sweet. Omni, I mean, how you don't like sweet? Now, I don't have a sweet tooth, okay? I used to. I used to have a bag of Skittles like every day back when I was a kid, and then I kind of got oversaturated, you know, but now, you know, I'm, I'm older. Spicy helps good metabolism. You can add it to foods, but it doesn't add any calories or whatever to it, you know? You don't get a stomach ache. Oh, well, sometimes you can if it's too spicy, but yeah, yeah, you can get spicy. And I understand some of y'all are like, Omni, I don't like spicy because, you know, I it makes my stomach hurt. And I can't handle your hot sauce. Look! I'm not talking about, again, <laughs> I made this tweet. I said, so the new Splatfest is out and everybody want to be pretend they don't like spicy food no more. Question mark, question mark, okay? I feel like y'all are gaslighting me for real, for real, right? And this person was like, no man, I just want to enjoy my food without chugging a glass of water in between. Come on, you ever been to Taco Bell's? You ever had their hot packet is it, or mild? That's, that's spice and it ain't, it ain't hot. Okay, it just tastes good. It's spice, all right? I said, it don't gotta be super booty butt burning hot. Just a little ooh la la, you know, a little mm, chickity mm bop, bopity bop mm bop, the nene mm cha cha. You feel me? Did I have a seizure while typing this? No, you guys know exactly what this means. Just a little bit of a kick. So you go, mm. You know, that wasn't bland. It was a little tasty and a little tiny spicy. Just right. Anyway, I'm team spicy, okay? I'm, I, I, I have a feeling that, you know, I'm gonna lose again because I think somebody at Nintendo is plotting against my demise. Because I, not only have I lost, but every team that I pick is last place. So, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Guys, team spicy has to win. Please help me get one W, okay? How many L's can this man hold? I don't want any more, all right? Please help me. Guys, before we get into today's topics, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Factor, healthy eating made easy. Guys, Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easy by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals directly at your doorstep. These guys have a team of gourmet chefs that create each meal using only quality ingredients, meaning not only will you eat better, but it tastes delicious too. Factor is my favorite sponsor for two reasons. Number one, I'm lazy, okay? I lack time and motivation to cook, but I need to eat. And with the holidays and even January so jam-packed, all of those problems are solved with simple, ready-to-heat meals being delivered directly at my door. And number two, I'm a gym rat. And if you plan on tackling those New Year's resolutions and goals seriously, getting healthy and in shape the Factor way makes it all way too easy. Factor also offers keto, calorie smart, and vegan options, so they got you covered regardless of any dietary restrictions you might have. Last and definitely not least, the food comes ready for you to eat within minutes. No waiting and and no prep time. Personally, I eat to live and I live to eat. The fact is, is that Factor makes eating both easy and affordable, which is exactly what I need in my life. So yeah, guys, what are you waiting for? Head to go.factor75.com slash Omni60 and use code Omni60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. And again, special thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. So this is kind of just a needs to know thing, but Z-Storm said it's Alpharad's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and my boy Alfred, the man, the myth, the legend himself, it's his birthday. It's a picture of him holding a gun. <laughs> Alfred posted this picture here on his Twitter. Said, turning 27, he's got a pictures with the homies, man. Just want to say happy birthday to Alfred. Uh, I, I knew Alfred for quite a while, and I feel like he's just one of those friends that just kind of went to the West Coast. And I was like, dang. I was hoping I could spend more time with you, but I can't, but it is what it is. Alfred, if you see this, homie, happy birthday, and uh, thanks for allowing me to put you in my thumbnail. So guys, just a quick news note, I'm not going to spend like all the time on this segment, but it really does freaking sucks. Uh, Brian Cross said the Rich Campbell situation in OTK forcing him to resign. So if you guys don't know, OTK is an esports organization that contains like a bunch of popular streamers like Asmund Gold and Schlatt and NMP LOL and all these other dudes, and they all got together, Amaru Cham, S-Fan, and they all got together and made a group, but like for the past year or so they have been under so much freaking drama and controversy because of members of their groups or people who've been affiliated with them basically being canceled for allegations and when i say allegations i mean that specific one the the forbidden r if you know what i mean that i cannot say on youtube without getting demonetized or whatever but another case has happened this time being with another person named rich campbell apparently he was in midstream when a girl came out and dropped a twit longer on him 
uh, accusing him of at, at one point in time in the past of, of, of doing the forbidden R. After her statement and statement came out, Rich said, I have read the statements made against me today. I will share my side of the story, but need some time to collect my thoughts. OTK has requested that I resign from my position and I have agreed I will make an update soon. But yeah, this is like incredibly bad luck for a lot of people on the team because like they're, I mean, if you guys don't know the crew right now, you got Asmongold, you have Amaru, you have S-Fan, you have Bruce, <laughs> you got NMP, Schlatt, Soda Poppin, uh, Seer, uh, Tectone, and Tips Out. And you, since then, they have been removed, uh, I believe, Miskiff, and they have released Rich Campbell. But like, it's just, it sucks, right? Because like, they're an organization, they're getting all this publicity, and people were always making memes and jokes about them. If you go to live stream fails or, or anywhere on the Twitter or whatever, and you hear about OTK, now people are always poking fun at the fact that their members are dropping out life flies, and they're like, who's going to be next? People are saying that like, Imaru and, and Bruce needs to get the hell out of there because there's too much bad publicity. Like, this, this OTK is a new newer esports team that came out I want to say maybe two years ish ago so one of the newer esports teams but they, they seem like they make really good content and I like a lot of the people that they have on their brand so it just kind of sucks that all of this is kind of being tarnished uh, I guess it kind of sometimes comes with the category if you know a lot of like different esports teams they eventually there does some drama that ends up happening when then them it's just uh this one seems to be uh, kind of bad like offline tv and that whole thing with like Pokemon and that one dude Fedmeister and stuff like there's like things like that that are occurring in the esports teams and it just it sucks because <laughs> people are trying to run a business and you know do a crew and, and and get together and make content and then you got some of those bad apples so anyway that's the whole situation rich campbell has not responded to the allegations uh as of now but he has currently been resigning from the team and uh it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about Twitter because uh, Elon Musk is doing things again to the platform, which could potentially lead to him being actually not the CEO of Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Elon Musk running Twitter is so wild because it's like, again, I've said this before. It seems like it would be like an amazing, fun idea, but instead it's just, it's just drama. And I hate drama. Like I hate drama that I'm involved in. And since like I'm a part of Twitter, I feel like I'm a part of it kind of i like to like to be a third person you know sip the team like oh wow that's crazy and, you know move on but i feel like this might affect me or everyone else and it's, it's just kind of annoying and tiresome it was fun and meaningful at first but anyway if you guys don't know what happened Jaden said twitter got bullied so hard because of their new policy they straight up deleted the tweet so <laughs> Twitter came up with this new policy that basically suggested that you are no longer allowed to link out to outside sources outside of Twitter. You can't link out to uh, any other social media websites, I believe like Instagram or OnlyFans or uh, Facebook or anything else where you might want to like, hey guys, here's my bio and my bio links to all my other social medias and stuff like that. Everyone has something usually that's called a link tree that allows people to branch to all of their social media, kind of like a nice infrastructure network of everybody connecting with different platforms. Twitter was like, you know what? We're going to ban that. And you can only, you know, <laughs> be a part of here of Twitter. And they said here, we recognize that many of our users are active on other social media platforms. However, we will no longer allow free promotion of certain social media platforms on Twitter. This statement is so troublesome for so many reasons. Number one, the restriction of like information flow between social media networks because you're trying to compete is absolutely freaking wild. Like in the fact that they said that allow free promotion almost makes it sound like that you would have to start paying in order to promote all of your social media. Can you imagine if you couldn't actually put on your actual Twitter that you have a YouTube or that you have a Facebook or that you have an Instagram? Like you just cannot let people know that you exist on different parts of the world and different platforms. Like what? Like no other platform does that. And yet here comes Twitter trying to do that right now. But then apparently after they deleted the tweet, they changed it to this question here from Twitter safety. The cowards changed it. <laughs> Should we have a policy preventing the creation of or use of existing accounts for the main purpose of advertising other social media platforms? Question mark. You know daggone well this is a tweet that Elon... It, it, it sucks, right? Because Elon Musk, he doesn't know anything. He's making everything up on the fly, right? He's just an old, rich boomer who thinks that he's right and thinks everyone's wrong if you guys don't know recently he's been on a tirade banning journalists there's this whole uh thing that went down last week where apparently if you guys don't know he has like a jet or an airplane or whatever you can calculate the uh where it is at all times and there was an account that was basically posting where his plane was at all times and he felt like he was being doxxed <laughs> so he deleted the person and then any journalist who talked about the freaking information was getting removed okay when you have the ceo of an information gathering hub 
removing journalists then it starts getting absolutely kind of wild all right then you start like okay not only are you manipulating information and for your own benefit but you're removing information from people that you don't agree with and he's he's teetering and tattering there's always a tweet elon musk where he says hey guys freedom of speech is free or he says xyz and then like two weeks three weeks four weeks later this man is doing the exact opposite like I don't know what's wrong with them, but apparently they went back on this. This has gotten down to a poll of a no. Anyway, if you come to his profile 16 hours ago, he has said, going forward, there will be a vote for major policy changes. My apologies won't happen again. And, and let me express to you guys that it will happen again. <laughs> Should I step down as head of Twitter? I will abide by the results of this poll. And the final results of this poll is 57.5% people saying yes, 42.5% people saying no. 17 million freaking votes on here about saying like Elon Musk, leave, <laughs> step down, go away. But then right after that, he makes like a threat right after that saying as the saying goes be careful what you wish as you might get it suggesting that if he steps down from the ceo of, of, of twitter which is now in place now is not a contract in terms of it uh, that is going to get worse for us or everyone because if he does step down he probably still has like all the power and the say so so he'll just be doing everything but in the backgrounds we'll know if it's elon musk because it's, it's it's just reeks or smells of him whenever he's trying to change anything to the gravity that he has and it's just weird like the way he tweets is like a like a, a weird like evil villain kind of guy like those who want power are the ones who least deserve he's so corny He's so freaking corny. That's what it is. He has no swag. He's corny. He got on the Dave Chappelle skit or Dave Chappelle. Like um, uh, he was on a stand up for Dave Chappelle and then he got booed. Like he's just not a likable guy. And it's not because he's a billionaire. There's plenty of rich people who can be freaking likable. There's Mr. Beast, super swell, likable guy. Yes, people will find reasons to dislike him, but no. Mr. Beast is just like, hey guys, I'm saving trees. Hey guys, I'm planting this. Hey guys, here's entertaining videos. And he's slowly but surely becoming one of the first YouTube billionaires, right? This man is just a, a, a narcissist and he's just always entering himself in situations. He bought Twitter for 44, was it, billion dollars so that he could run it and then just and, and moderate it? Just to be a moderator, a glutified moderator? And he's just... And, <laughs> Man, I he just and he he gets offended by everything that people say on Twitter as well. It's it's wild watching him trying to do this ride. I'd hope this end of this legacy does eventually end. I, Twitter has been very very active recently, but it feels like it could go down a a bad path eventually. And there's no exit. I don't feel like there's no replacement. People try to go to Mastodon. People are trying to go to other social media Twitter accounts. But to be honest, I still don't feel like there is a replacement for Twitter. Okay, there's 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 just not. Twitter is Twitter, and right now there's no competitor. Same thing I feel like with Twitch. You got YouTube gaming, yeah, but there's nothing at that freaking level. You got the only one that's been branching the market, in my opinion, was TikTok. TikTok was one of the only few companies that branched and started competing against video sharing platforms because they created their own unique one, aka Vine 2.0, essentially. So, okay, I'm rambling. Anyway, that's Elon Musk being absolutely wild. Apparently, he's no longer going to be CEO. Let's see if he actually steps down from power. My guess is probably no, because he wants to probably firmly hold that and grasp that. And uh, we'll see, we'll go from there. I'll let you guys know if there's any updates. Drio said Logan Paul getting supposedly canceled for mocking his friend George's beliefs in the newest impulsive episode. Now, this is pretty freaking interesting. Logan Paul, you guys all know the guy. You know the, the Paul brothers, Jake Paul. He's the younger brother who's been boxing. And Logan Paul's the older brother. You guys, a lot of them. If you don't know who he is, you probably remember him. He's my dude who went to Japan and then it was like some kind of, he went to the forest or something. That was the biggest deal that went then. But ever since then, he's been out of trouble. He's been like doing his podcast, minding his business. I think he's under fire now now because uh freaking coffeezilla made a video on him about him promoting nfts or stuff like that <laughs> so that's kind of coming into base but other than that he's been really minding his business i think he boxed with uh floyd mayweather about a year ago and then um he made prime drink with ksi a super huge successful company so he hasn't been problematic ever since that he's kind of been minding his business but now people are saying like logan paul lost my respect man don't you ever disrespect another man's religion i'm proud that george kept a level head during the conversation disgusting behavior from logan and he needs to learn from this i'll be honest with you bro jesus christ oh, God. you bashing me in front of a group of people for my beliefs is not right genuinely like i know people that hate me that treat me better about my faith than you and you're my best friend I'm definitely questioning why we have to perpetuate a belief that is i, I silly dang 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 
It'd be your own homies. We pick on each other and other things, it's totally fine. Like, you, you suck at comedy, I get that, everybody knows that. All that stuff, but when it comes to religion, you have to be, you have no. to tiptoe. No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, I do. With anybody. And by the way, you brought up, like, Muslims and Jews. Dude, I sit at synagogues and talk to, to rabbis all the time, pick their brains. I sit with Muslim people, they're the most peaceful people. We want so to who's Arabia. right? I want you to say it right now. Who's right? Who's, who's God is real? My God is real in my eyes. Not Allah. I don't believe that Allah is real in my eyes. A lot of Muslims but does that, disagree with me. But does that mean I have to disrespect their beliefs? No. And you're so, like, power-driven that you will mold past your friends and family without accidentally, without knowing. If I say something, I've said it much. Now, can you give an example? Of what, what, one one that example? really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. What? The, oh, my God. God, but you know, I, I, the full TikTok background thing, because please people get rid of that, but I guess that's a whole thing. But my man is literally holding the prime drink <laughs> while Logan Paul is saying like he needs a freaking therapist because he believes in Jesus. God damn, what? Your homie has beliefs that you don't share and you kind of go on in on him about that because he, because y'all have different beliefs. Like you would think like if he's watched enough anime or he's, he's had enough friends where it's like when you have best friends, obviously you're not going to be one-on-one -on -one for everything, but for you to to shun somebody because of their beliefs and views when it comes to religion, like that's, that's one of the basic one-on-ones where it's like either you, you share it or you don't. And then you either coexist with them or you don't. <sighs> we lost another, this is not a good month for us for a If you guys don't remember, um, um, Maximilian uh, recently posted that uh, his fur baby, his dog, uh, Benny, had passed away. And now Maya, um, PewDiePie, and uh, Martius, uh, dog, they have passed away saying, said farewell to my little Maya. Uh, this morning, 17 years is a long time for a pug, but no time in the world would have been enough. I didn't think... I could love a dog as much as I loved her. Thank you for all the wonderful time we got to spend with you. Thank you for always making my days brighter. Thank you for bringing me closer to Marcia. I will miss you very much, and I already do. You will always be in my heart. Oh, God. Rest in peace. Oh, Maya, that's so sad. Like, I I, I, I can't, can't can't back to back this, man. I'm fur dad. You guys know Indy. I can't grab him right now. He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up, man. But I think it's a fur dad. It's like really sucks. I know they got to go, man. And I appreciate the time that I have with them. And I don't take them for granted or not at all. I, mean, I feel like with like pets, man, if you, if you have a pet, if you have a cat, if you have a dog, you know, and you've been close with them for a long time. That kind of affection and love and presence that they have around you for uh, it, it it changes you as a person. They they give you a sense of comfort and warmth and stress all at the same time. They're their own entity and being, and it, you become shaped by those little people. Man, they they can save lives. So it, it it hurts, you know, to see this, but you know that it eventually does have to happen. Seventeen years is a really long time. So I'm glad that Maya was able to live so long and uh, rest in peace to the dog, homie, guys. But all right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you made it to the end, do me a favor, just drop a like. Let's me know that you made it to the end of the video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, I'll see y'all later this week. Okay, go finish your Christmas shopping if you haven't. Okay, you got you got six days left. All right, just go to the mall. Hurry up, just go. It's gonna be packed, but you gotta go get it done. All right, and just grab something. All right, and just you know it's whatever it's gotta be. You know, I got I got some stuff too. I got my old sponsors. I got Raycon. I got you know you got buy buy get them something. <laughs> Stop hating, okay? Uh, but otherwise, I hope you guys have a good week, man. I know, again, this time of the season for a lot of people are really lonely or sad and it's cold, seasonal depression. And I said this in my last video, man, but just hang in there. It's going to all right. We all, we all suffering together in some kind of way, man. But we all family. We all interlinked. Even if you can't see the links, man. We're all, we're all joined and combined somehow, man. You and me both. So you guys will make it. We'll all make it. And uh, enjoy the holidays. Put on some good Christmas music. Play some good video games. It's, eat some good food. Watch some good anime. Get some good sleeps. Take care of your body. Move, you know. Keep exercising if you can. Walk if you need to be. And keep practicing those self-care routines. And just move forward, man. And be happy. You know, this is uh, wild times that we live in, which is always now the case. I feel like that now has just been more recently. But 2023 is right around the corner, all right? So let's make it through this year, all right? All right. I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. Peace.